Hi. Um, in summary, I accepted a contract back in July to have some decking and, and work done in my garden. Persistent delays, persistent unsatisfactory <laughs> satisfactory work, which they've sort of had to come back, some of which they've rectified, some of which they haven't. Um, I sent them a letter before Christmas. Um, I did a bit of research under the Consumer Rights Act um, and basically saying, can you give me a date to complete? This is what I would like done. This is what the issues are. Um, and I sent it signed for delivery. Um, and it's actually come back as it initially it was undeliverable. Um, so I actually sent the letter via email. I put a delivery receipt on it and I know it was delivered. I haven't got a read receipt. The, Holly, Holly, what's the question you've got for me? The, the, the delivery was then reattempted, and I've now got it back as saying the company recipient refused to sign for it because I think they knew what the contents was. So is what, should, what should you do? Is, is your question? Yeah, is is that evidence that I can go to small claims court? Would that would that support me going to small claims court? Uh, right, because Recen they're not fulfilling the agreement with me. Resend it by recorded first class post, so not signed for, but just so you have proof of postage. I have uh, proof of postage. Yeah, but uh, the one you have proof of postage for, you know, was rejected. You know, they didn't receive it. So repost it uh, in a way. No, where but but then they tried to re-deliver and then they rejected it. Sorry, when you say they rejected it, you mean the recipient refused to accept the signed for letter? Yes, the, right. the recipient refused it. So that's, so that's, refused why, that's why I say deliver it by, send it by first class post, not signed for post. And that way the recipient isn't given the option of refusing it. It's simply put through their letterbox. But get, okay. a, but get a certificate of postage so you can prove the second uh, attempt was was handed into the post office and you'll get a receipt that says we, the post office, have been given a letter to send to address and we're delivering it by first class post. That will be deemed valid service. But since you've also got proof of email delivery of the same letter, you're not going to have any problem with the district judge showing in, in the small claims court showing you gave this person a chance to put things right. No judge is going to have you. a problem with that.